There's a whole lot of resources, but... You know... <gasps> oh! What? What happened? Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to Worlds Adrift, episode 5. So when I left off, we were docked on the island, and um, I just wanted to do a little bit of research. As it turns out, you need to fully remove yourself from a shipyard, and then be airborne with your motion fully stopped when you log out, in order for your ship to despawn with you when you log out. If you leave it at a shipyard and you log out, then it will still be there and people can do stuff with it. Now, I've done a little bit of research as well into other things and found out that the controls... Let's, um... I'm not sure why my mouse is fighting with me. There we go. Uh, the controls actually... This bit here doesn't change anything. Unless you have... Engines. If you don't have engines, then all that does is sit there to look fancy for you. If you actually want to control yourself with sails, you simply unfurl or you simply furl them up when you want to stop. Okay, we did a little bit of exploration of that ab above area, so let's go ahead, get our sails up, and let's go down to this lower section and get some resources. And look for a new island to go to, shall we? Alright, so we're going to descend. I don't know why I do that. It's force of habit. We can turn ourselves a little bit like this. And what I found is with three sails, we move substantially faster than with the one. you can see three sails we're doing very very well with let's continue our downward motion let's get a little closer to the land here and we'll just turn the ship around all right let's let go of the controls for a second where are we in relation to everything don't appear to be any airships nearby. We could go to some of these smaller islands. Let's see, we came from that one. No, that's a revival tower. I don't even know if I can see where we came from anymore. Alright, let's 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 initiate a steep descent here. Oof, look at that. That's That must be one of the walls. How are we in terms of height? We're still well above the trees. Oof. Oh my, no, nobody's going that way. Not at all. Alright. Let's go ahead and... Are we fully rested on the ground? No, not yet, but I want to be. So let's... Furl up this sail. In fact, let's let's raise it a little bit, please. Let's not be this, this low to the ground. I don't want to be this low to the ground. Thank you. Alright, and then in order to stop, we just simply close our sails, we furl them up, and our motion stops. Um, except we're still floating into the air. Okay, so apparently we can still go up and down with the Atlas core, even with the sails closed. Let's stop all motion completely, please. Thank you. All right. Now, for resources, we're going to need... Uh, let's get a lot of this elm. And then let's see what kind of metal we can find in this area. Ooh. Oh, a flag. We have that. Lead. Fuel. I'll take the fuel. Lead. Sure, I'll take the lead. For now. The lead is good for building shipyards and such that aren't going to go on the ship. 
So I kind of want it for that, but at the same time, there's only so much lead you need. And then, and then it's just like, okay, lead, I get it. Hmm. Is that fuel for me? It is. Okay, our ship's the only one out here, which that makes me feel very good. But I would like to find some more fancy chests that have uh, these random schematics in them instead of these player-made chests. Yeah. Let's see what we got in here. Maybe some iron? There doesn't seem to be any neat ruins or anything on this. Oh, nickel. Uh, okay, sure, nickel, yeah. Not a lot of knowledge to be gained on this island. This island really seems like a resource hub. Which is why it looked like it was so heavily populated in the last in the last episode. I imagine it's just because there's so much here to, to get. So much ore and so much timber. Where's your metal? You don't have any? Oh, you have some. What do you got? Iron. No oh, more lead. Well, fair enough. Alright, let's get some more elm. There you go. Whoa, whoa. The game did not like the way I broke that tree apart. Struggling a little bit. So I guess I didn't really have a plan past this point. We're kind of, um... Okay. That's peculiar. But I'll allow it. Sure, why not? Alright, let's go ahead and break this one. Really need a cooking recipe for those berries. That's what I need. Oh, all right, let's avoid the stump. Thought I heard footsteps. Did you hear footsteps? Was that was that my own footsteps? I think it was my own footsteps. Kind of far from my ship. I don't like that. Got me a little uneasy. But there's nobody here! It's a false false sense of security. Let's see what metal we can get here. Bronze? Uh, I'll accept bronze. That's a good metal. Then I think we're going to have to go check out what's on the underside of this island. Uh, we'll leave the ship over there for now. Oh, where are we at with the knowledge? Right, can we learn engines? Because I have this theory that... I have this theory that I'll get a fuel tank with the first block of engines, even though I would like to make engines, but I don't have a fuel tank. So we just need a little bit more knowledge. We're just not getting much over here. There's some iron. Yes. Very good. More atlas shards. I'm pretty sure the deck, that this lower deck of this island actually extends out quite a bit underneath the top deck. I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it does. I don't see any kind of ruins or anything. There's another deck. Are those creatures down there? Hmm. No, if we're going to head this way, we should fly the ship over this way. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Well, I don't like being so far away from my ship. I'm sure I could navigate down there. I just... I'm so afraid somebody is, is going to come and, and mess with my ship while I'm gone. Maybe that's not a thing that happens. Maybe people are nicer than that. But I wouldn't put it past them. They might not even know that I'm here. If I had just stumbled on an island and I had no ship or my ship was destroyed and I saw another ship that was just parked somewhere, 
and I thought that I could leave the island and probably never see that person again. I can't 100% say that that's not what I would do. I might. So, I can't exactly <laughs> trust someone else to behave better than I would behave. Alright, there we go. And up, up we go. Oof, a little rough. Gotta remember to, gotta remember to climb with Q. Okay, let's let our sails down. Let's give ourselves a power of the wind at our disposal. And let's go ahead to that other area. Again, I don't know why I do that. The wind is going to carry us no matter what. And we don't seem to be going too awful fast. Although it could be that we're not really fully utilizing the wind. Ugh, we need engines is what we need. Yeah, these sails are just kind of fluttering. They don't really look like they've caught the wind much. They should be all straight and... Oof, we need to go up a little bit. Alright, that'll work. All right, we can stop going up and down. Oh, look at those islands. That looks like ruins over there. So does this one up here in the clouds. Okay, the sails are a little more... They're doing a little bit better. Let's just turn. Can we turn? No. Do we need to put in... We need to put in some yaw and some turn? These wings are just not doing as good as I would have liked them to do. Oh, if we have a sail hitting our other sail, is that going to be a problem? It might be. Oh, we've departed the island for sure. I don't know, I didn't really see anything down there. Perhaps we should... Oh, I can't see anything ahead of me either. Oh no, we're going... Going a little bit into 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 weather. Now we should be hard over. Is this really as as quickly as we can turn? Okay, maybe we straighten out. Let's assess another destination. This place is a whole lot of resources, but you know. Oh! oh! What? What happened? Oh. Oh, I'm not sure what happened. Okay, let's let's reel ourselves back up, please. Oh. Okay. I'm not sure what got me. Something hit me pretty good, though. Oh. What was it? I wonder. Did we take damage? Do I need to repair anything? Was it a was it a storm? Was it a bit of lightning? What the heck happened? I can't even see where I'm going. I kind of don't want to be going where I can't see. Let's um let's nose down a little bit. Oh, there's an island. Yeah, let's let's leave it nose down for a little bit. Goodness, what got me though? I'm Ugh. I do not like not being able to see. Oh, I wish the clouds would clear up a little bit. Pretty sure there's an island out in front of us. There it is. That's where we're heading. Let's turn in that direction. Oh, and hopefully get out of this cloud. Oh, that was terrifying. I mean, I guess I have my personal reviver on board to ship, but I would have lost a lot of resources. Let's um, let's move over all this elm, um, this lead, this iron, 
this nickel. We'll leave a little bit of elm on me for repairing the barrel in case it gets damaged. And then we'll put a lot of these berries over here. This hat, in case I want to change it. This bronze. Alright, that'll work. There's the underside of the island. Looks like no matter which direction you try to fly into, there's some sort of wall to impede your progress. That one just looks like a giant waterfall over there. Ugh, which we can't even see anymore. Heading into the cloud. We can't be afraid of heading into the clouds, or else how will we head through a wall of water when the time comes? All right, let's maintain straight and level for a little bit. Right, so there is the island. Looks like it has an interior to it. I don't see anybody over there. That makes me feel good. I thought I heard something. Oh, no, that sail gets past the other sail just fine. <gasps> what? We've got, like, no wind here. We're, like, stalled out. These sails are just fluttering, trying to find wind. Oh, we need engines. We really do need engines. All right, let's nose down. Give a little bit of a right turn. Oh, we're catching the wind now. Okay, let's... Let's make a hard turn. Um, here, we're going to need to slow down. The wind is starting to really push us. we got a tailwind. Let's take this sail down, and let's take this sail down. Ooh, there's lightning over there. Let's stay away from that. Okay, so this should slow us down. Let's go ahead and lower with the Atlas core. How close are we going to come to that? We should clear it. All right, let's turn around this. Uh, from here, we can go up, stop the Atlas core. Stop it. Doesn't look like we have good turning at all. There is a shipyard over there, and that's where I want to go. So let's... Uh, this is this is the best we can turn, though. All right, let's, let's stop our sail. Let's stop all of our forward momentum here. Center the controls. Let's assess where we are and what we're doing here. The ship is still settling forward a little bit. As I understand it, we shouldn't need to... The ship should stop with the sails furled. And it is stopping. Very, very slowly. Okay. Hmm. There looks to be a good bit of knowledge down here. Let's let's lower the ship. For now, we don't really need a shipyard for now. All right, that's probably good. We might need a shipyard. We'll see. Ooh, easy does it. Did I not? What was I hooked to? How bizarre. And look, we got like a floating ship piece out there. Please don't still be floating and drifting. Okay, you're not. Good. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, so these smaller islands seem to have really cool stuff on them. Don't I already know that one? I do. And I'm pretty sure I've already collected this one as well. I have. Wrapped leggings. No, I'm, I'm good. I, those are the ones we have. Oh, look, we got a knowledge cache over here. I like the fluttering leaves, too. All right. There we go, 25 knowledge. Let's talk engines, please. Yes. What did we learn? What is it? Piped Smoky 5. Ship parts. Engines. Scrap heap populace. 
piped smoky five. Oh goodness, piped smoky's a lot better. But did we did we did we get any? Power generator. Refined fuel to power engines. Okay. That's what we need. All right. Sounds good. Now we just have to get our ship over here to the shipyard. Target needs to be repaired before it can be used. I'm good with that. Requires iron to repair. Or we could just build one underneath us with the lead that we have. Or the, uh, yeah. I think that's going to be our best bet, actually. Even though it's not exactly stable ground, does this go down? Yeah, buddy, that goes down. Woo Pretty far. Somebody looks like they were camped out here for quite a while. All right, what kind of metal do we have here? All this decking laying around on the ground? Lead. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's make a shipyard. That's what we'll do. Okay. We'll get, some, we'll get a little bit of extra lead, even though we don't need it. Shipyard. And we'll craft. Really, it's just me being a little lazy, so I don't have to go back up to the ship to get the lead that I had. That's all. All right, and six will put you right, um, can I rotate you? Yeah, right here. Hopefully this will dock our ship to it. Ugh, really? Really? I've taken ownership of this abandoned shipyard. Well, yeah, because it's only abandoned because the owner of it died. I hear engines. Somebody's close by. All right. Well, let's get engines on our ship since we're since we're going to be running by ourselves. Oh no, that's not engines. That's our shipyard. Okay, that'll work. Um I'm pretty sure we're going to want to stick with fa a fast ship. Um a fast ship that has some durability and not necessarily worry about cannons and such. Nope, alright, that'll be our lead. And we'll put the ship building area, the assembly station, right here. Let's go ahead and craft one of those, and then we're going to need some of our other metal for the engine. We did put a lot of metal on the outside of our ship, though. I'm not exactly sure... No, please do not destroy that. I'm not exactly sure how much... I know we can hold a... What, thousand... Thousand kilograms with... The Atlas Sky Core, but I'm not sure how many of those we have... Used up. How many of those kilograms we've used up. Hmm. I think maybe more wings would be better. Barn door fin. Hatch flap board. Pivot speed, power. We could try. We could try a couple of these. Um, but first, let's get a power generator. That's what I want first. Um, I wonder if they'll let me climb my ship here. Um, okay, yeah, apparently you can totally climb your ship. No, wait, come back this way. Yep, and then up here. <laughs> uh, you can totally just climb all over the ship. Nice, I like that. That's pretty cool. Let's put our lead away. Um, I'm going to be looking at bronze. I don't want to use up too much bronze. I'm pretty sure that's what we made the... Uh, the control, the controls out of, and we're going to need more to repair them in case they ever get damaged or we can't use them. Um, let's also take our elm back. Let's 
Okay, perfect. All right, so for engines, yeah, we're going to go, we're going to look at, um, I think, the piped smoke 05. First, let's make ourselves a power generator. So what is this? Medium weight and few weaknesses. That's good. And we'll craft. Okay. Excellent. And then we'll need the piped smoky 05. Sounds good. First, let's figure out where we're going to put this. Because this is... Ugh. Really? We just didn't plan on having that large of a ship. Well, what we might do... Okay, let's... Let's take the sail, and we'll remove the sail. There we go. And then we'll take you, and we'll put you right... Hold up. Oh, almost. So close. Right there. Um, what is this doing, I wonder? Hold E to refuel. How much of my fuel did that use? It used none. Perhaps we need engines. Okay, well, well, we'll get the engines on board then. I don't know if that flap out there is helping us any. Let's remove you. Ooh, easy does it. Watch out for those physics. Uh, they'll get you. All right, let's look at the, yeah, Piped Smoky 5. Thinking bronze. Yep, we'll make you out of bronze and elm. Very good. Crafted. Again, I'm not sure how much weight we have, but I imagine we'll find out if we hit our limit. Now, can we go... Hmm. Okay, okay. We're gonna we're gonna do this. Let's Oh, my engine is getting banged up. My new engine. Wait. No. Just stop right there. Just stop. Goodness. Okay. For the wing, let's move the wing. We'll move it um what right right there is fine. All right, let's get the engine. The engine's going to go where the wings were. Let's reel up a little bit and get a view of this. Um, hold on, hold on. Why are you running? No. No, no. Stop that. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, I've got 291 fuel... And that used one fuel. Refueled one unit of fuel. Okay. All right, that's exciting. Let's get another one. Let's have two of them. Oh, yes, indeed. Um, this one is going to be made out of nickel. No, it's not. We don't have enough nickel. Oh, is that an island way up there? Are there islands that high up? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, we're gonna put back the nickel, put back the uh, bronze, yeah. Alright, so the iron, this one's gonna be made out of iron. Alright, combustible internal internals, mechanical internals, and then casing and propeller. Craft. We're gonna need to get this other wing off though. All right, so let's put this other wing over here. And then this engine, we'll put... Hold on, hold on. Uh, let's, let's climb. Let's climb up the deck of my ship here. Let's be specific about what we're trying to do. 
Oh, come on. You're facing the wrong way, though. So we need to rotate, rotate. Yes. Just like that. Wait. No, no. That's, um... Hold on. Propellers need to face forward. What was I thinking? This is the front of the ship here. So it should be... Um... You know what? We're all getting all wrapped around the mast here. Hold on. Yes, so the propellers need to face forward. That's not forward. Can Stop swinging. No. Ugh. Please stop swinging. There, I'm good with that. All right, and then the same for you. Now I'm really curious if that's an island up there. Oof, we're all wrapped around the, the sail. All right, hold on, we're going to disconnect. Well, look at that island over there. At least the weather is improving a little bit and things are clearing up. All right, stop swinging. Stop, stop. Okay, I need you... No. I need you facing, like, forward. Please! Oof. A little bit of, a little bit of struggling. Mmm. That one looks better than the other one. The other one's all jutting off to the side. It's more of a, it's more of a clearance issue than anything else. Can we rotate you up, like... No, how about... Yes, yes, like that. Good. Very good. That's pretty close. Um, uh, do I want to mess with it? I do want to mess with it just a little bit. Um, maybe I don't. Nope, maybe I don't. Let's just uh let's just cancel. Um, cancel? Thank you. One, eh, they're, they're close enough. They're close enough. Okay. So now we have engines. Let's readdress this um, fins and flaps situation. And then I dare say we need to gather a good bit of fuel while we're here before we leave. Maybe see if there's any, any ruins to scan, some knowledge to gain. We really need that maneuverability. Okay, so if we want to make a fin, even though the fin's not the problem, hmm. Turning if attached vertically, pitching if attached horizontally. Turning if attached vertically. Well, it makes it sound like they can both do it, but let's let's try this out. Let's see if we can actually get a fin that will do what we want to do, because we have no turn radius, and we really need one. It doesn't really appear like it. All right, let's go out this way. No, 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 no. Woo, easy does it. Getting a little happy with that space bar. Stop swinging. So it still doesn't want to attach vertically. It will go like that. That's somewhat vertically. Um, yeah, I suppose that's, uh, maybe if we do it like that, that, that's, I mean, it's a vertical surface that looks more like a rudder vader than, than a rudder. Uh, okay, so that'll work. Let's grab these flap wings now. And we'll actually put you here behind the engine. 
And the other one, much the same way over here, behind the engine. I don't know if that's going to give us the turn that we want. Perhaps we need to try, you know what, let's, let's double up here in the back. I think that'll be a good call. We'll put one there, and then we'll put one on the other side as well. More control surfaces, the better. That's what I always say. Stop! No! No! Ugh. Get up, you fool! Ugh. All right, we're going to climb up out of this one. Although, hmm, there is a place to land down there. No, we are going to have to explore this place before we leave. We can't just we can't just leave. This island looks like it's got some secrets hidden in it, and we need that knowledge if we're going to continue to improve and upgrade our ship. So we're going to make another fin. And... And then we're going to explore, see if there's anything we can find before we're preparing to leave. All right, let's take this piece. Oh, don't, don't swing out that far. I forgot you'll get caught in the trees. In most games, when you're used to clipping through everything, this game you'll actually get wrapped up in trees and your sails and all manner of items. Let's... Go like that. That's that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. Now we can't we can't leave our ship here when we log out of the game. So if we're gonna go down and explore what's on this island, we have to must come back up to the ship to log out. So I do not want anybody messing with our ship. What is this? A brittle old rake? A rake with broken tines? What do you do with that? Salvage? Oh, 110 birch. Nice! Um, please go here. Collect. Already contained. Okay, well, go ahead. Somebody else can collect it then. Got another chest over here to check out. Farm parts. Salvage for iron. That's nice. I like that. Collect 15 knowledge. Okay. So far, so good. Likely need to gather up some of this metal while we're here. And what are these? These are going to be birch, I'm guessing? Yep. All right. Really would love to find a cooking recipe for these berries, and or a, a construction schematic for a campfire. That seems like that should have been something I could find or maybe learn from the campfires that are scattered across the ground. If anybody knows how you learn to construct a campfire, if that's even a possibility, although I suppose I could do my research. But I always appreciate the advice in the comments that I get. Please feel free to drop some my way if you are familiar with this game and you know a little bit about it. I don't like to over-research games when I'm playing them for the first time. Mm, pretty lonely little island. No, well, I think if we're going to have the chance of finding any ruins, we're going to have to go check the underbelly. And there's not one here, okay. I guess we'll go this way. I know at least that I can go out this way. Let's see how far down my grappling hook can take me. Um, right after we move this sail out of the way. Actually, I should salvage this sail. Or I guess I could be nice and leave it for somebody else. But it's chestnut! No, I'm not leaving it. I'm taking it. Same with this wing. I want my materials back. There you go. All right, let's see how low we can go on our on our line here. Okay, so we can reach. We can grappling hook up from here. Pretty sure most of this these mushrooms and everything I've seen before. Whoa, wait a minute. This isn't just like a cave. This is 
some kind of building. Memorial pillars. Wow, a lot of this can be researched. You know what? Let's let's see what this place looks like. I think this is as good a time as any to actually build a campfire. We have a few of them. Let's let's place one down. Yep, right here. Let's light this area up. And then how am I supposed to cook on it? Well, it doesn't seem to be giving us that much light. Hmm. Well, it was worth a shot, I suppose. So is there, like, nowhere else to go here, huh? It's just this little statue and ruins here for knowledge. Well, we, we, got, we got some knowledge. Two knowledge. It's like every individual piece gives knowledge. Got to make sure you scan it all. Tiles were broken long ago. Memorial Pillar has taken a few knocks, but is mainly intact. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if we can do anything with these here. Doesn't look like it. Thuntomite stakes about all we can do. That seems... Uh... Torch. That's what I need. Goodness me, I could make torches this whole time? Ugh, way to not pay attention. Alright. There we go. Didn't even need to waste my campfire. So yeah, this area is just... Just a little, uh... A little bit of uh, ruins here. Is that anything I can research? I feel like I've researched that before, or studied it, rather. Yep, already gained knowledge from it. Okay. Well, I guess then we'll exit this little cave of wonder. I know I've scanned these before. Yep. Oh, look at that. We've got some fuel, though. We're going to take that. No, come back. Come back. All right, and where do we go from here? Up, up, and away! Can I not have my torch while I'm... What happened? Okay. That was interesting, I just put my torch out. Um... But now I'm kind of wondering if there isn't more to this place. Realistically, what, we searched one little alcove and it didn't even go that far down. And I remember this island had a giant, like, lower area to it. We did get some knowledge, and we do need to keep getting knowledge. So, yeah, I dare say what we're going to do is we're going to look for another path down, maybe. Hmm. Let's go back to our ship. Let's see. Let's see. Ugh. Let's see if there's a... Because I remember there's seeing a cave on the side of the island. I don't know if that's going to be the only way to go down. I don't see another entrance, though. It doesn't appear like it. And I don't want to just scale down the side of the island. I don't want to do that. Okay. Let's go ahead and store our good stuff here. What do we have? Um, birch. I'll store the birch. Store the iron... Oh, that was lead. Okay, well, we'll hold on to the iron. Steel! We'll store the steel. And a torch. What if we make two of them? That's just as well, probably. Alright. 
let's um let's cut our sails loose. I think we're already becoming victims of a small ship. We might have to start looking at nope, the sails can pass over top of that. Even still, we might need to start talking about a larger ship before too long. Something with a planned area for control surfaces. See if we've helped our turning out at all. What did that say at the bottom of the screen? Ship weighs more than its Atlas core, Sky core can lift. That's a real problem, isn't it? Of course it does. Ah, oh, easy does it. All right, so what we're going to need to do then is we're going to need to start mm, taking off some of this metal plating that we cared so much about. That's our front. No, I feel like if we're going to sacrifice metal plating, it should be should be not on the very front of the ship. Come on. Okay. Let's check the aft. Um, let's see. We're going to need that stuff there. We can take this piece off. And then we can liable take the same piece on the other side off. Whoa. 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 Easy does it. Easy does it. Come on. All right, we'll take that piece off um, and put it there. All right, let's see if that's enough. I wonder... Uh, I probably have to be able to go down and interact with the sky core to see how close we are. Let's move this piece over there. Can I check it out? I think that red light means we are over. We are over. Let's pull this panel off here. Put it there. Okay. So we're going to need... Okay, so next episode we're definitely going to need a larger ship frame. And we just won't be able to put um, metal panels on it. We'll have to go with wood wood decking, I guess. I don't know. We're already, we're already hitting the max of, of what we can lift and... We don't have a whole lot on our ship. Um, let's take this one off. Uh, no, that one can stay. Let's move um, this one. And just put it on down there. Oh, what am I doing? I should salvage this stuff. Absolutely, I should salvage it. Get my metal back. Oh, I wonder if all the stuff I'm putting in the barrel is contributing to the overall weight of the ship. That would make sense. Even though I'm already salvaging panels. How can I check? Oh, I know. I bet I could check on the shipyard. Yes, there it is. Wait. Oh, we're 161 over. Frame, basic, sky core, structural, the engines added 200, the wings are 138. Structural, deck, small panels. Yep, we need to lose some small panels. Which, without the panels, we can't attach stuff to the ship, right? I mean, so we need the panels for some stuff. We'll just tear pieces off and just move them along. Ugh, now you can see the innards of the ship. That doesn't look good. Well, we have to do what we have to do. No! I'm just going to have to tear the panels off. That's all there is to it. All right, so we'll put that one over there. All this time and effort I spent putting these panels on. 
Lesson is well learned. Um, so now it's just a little more open. Ugh, that wing. Part of that wing you can't step on. I'm, I'm discovering that. Come on. What am I, caught up on the... Come on! Er... Oh, I'm gonna get pinched or ground up into pieces. Son of a gun. Let's climb up. I feel like, if at all possible, I should try to leave the frames on the front. Let's go ahead and drop that out that direction. This can be dropped out. That's just making things difficult here. Uh, now it seems like we're going to have a lot more drag. I don't know if drag's a thing in this game, but it probably should be. This piece can go... Yeah, no matter what, it wants to snap the piece there. Fortunately. Alright, so what? We just need to tear a few more pieces off of this this end here. I'm just going to ditch some of our flooring or our paneling. Uh, I would like to leave the front intact as much as possible, though. That one we can remove. Let's see where that puts us. Oh, 74. We've, we've reduced a good bit out of structural. Uh, we might... We might just be pushing the max. Uh, we could take two wings off would help. Or more panels. I guess we are going to take our front panels off. I don't really like that. But we have to lose the weight. Hmm. I wonder if you can get a better Atlas Sky Core. Seems like I don't have that much on my ship. And while I can see the folly of I, I can see the folly of putting metal plates on your ship, it's like that's that's if you're doing combat, like you're battling, you know. Probably just make my ship out of wood to keep it nice and light. So then, what I'm going to need to do is actually find uh, find out which piece of wood is the lightest, and then we'll go to an island that has a lot of that kind of wood, and then we'll probably make a new ship. At which point we'll have to transfer everything. Hmm. It seems like that's going to be a process. But I want my iron back. If for nothing else, we're going to get our iron back. Okay. Now oh, the front of the ship's all open. Not really how I wanted it to look. Oak. No, we don't need that. Destroy that item. Yes, thank you. Um, oh, let's check the weight. Still overweight. As I'm sure by now that that's what that red light means. Um, let's get rid of this part. And then this part as well. Those will get pulled off the front. And then so will this part get pulled off the front. So we just need plating where we want to attach stuff to the frame. So we don't need plating there. That plating is needed. One of these two is needed, but not both of them. Is it two here? That's just one. So let's move this one. And then we'll move this one over here to the... Center, maybe? Kind of? Possibly? Nope, this one doesn't want to be removed. We're not going to remove it. Obviously, that's the one the engine is attached to. Uh. Alright, so now we'll just pull down these. I am curious, though. Like, now we have... 
So we're pulling, we're just pulling off plating. It's not like we're replacing it with wooden plating. And we don't have that large of a ship. I feel like our ship is very modest. But two engines and four control surfaces, and we're like tapped out. We don't even have a whole lot on the ship, really. So I think we're going to have to specialize our ship. And I would like to build one that is fast and maneuverable and lightly armored, but can travel quickly. I think that's that's going to be where we need to be. So we're going to need the, the engines. We're going to need the wings. We're not going to need the plating. We're not going to need the cannons. That's something we're not going to worry about yet. Okay, so the light is yellow. Does that mean we're... We're close, we're there. What does that what does that mean? It's not green. 994. Just on the edge. Just on the edge. Well, I suppose that's what happens when you get two engines instead of one. Uh, the ship looks a little rougher without its frame in place. Um, I'm not going to front. It does. Let's um let's depart, shall we? Kick the engines on. See what kind of turn we have. Oh, whoa, whoa, not bad. That's... Whoa, whoa, cut cut the power back, cut the power back. Let's just see the turn without the engines, just the sails. Oh, we definitely have better control now with those fins in the back. Okay, no, the engines do help us steer, though. We don't seem to be turning that much. Um, I'd like to turn more if I could. What if we do this? No. Let's just let's just leave us in a right bank. Look at all that. Oh, look at that island. It goes way down there. I want to see what's over there before we start going to another island. Um, but since we're on the ship and we're testing its maneuverability, I think this is actually going to be a good place to wrap things up because we're airborne and we can log out here um, and be safe. So this has been... We'll keep the turn in. This has been Worlds Adrift, Episode 5. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good time watching. As always, I've had a good time playing. Come back next time as we continue to explore the islands that we have access to with our limited technology, hopefully gaining more knowledge along the way for the next schematic. But until next time, take care.